This mechanism is simple gear train with two gears that are the same size, gear train A. Let's talk about the relationship of these two gears. Notice that they are both touching and there's only two gears. These gears are held onto the test bed with axles. These axles or shafts are parallel to each other. The first gear has a hand crank attached to it. That hand crank, when turned I, clockwise, will turn the other gear counterclockwise. The gear with the crank is the driver gear. It's drive gear with the power. The other gear is the driven or output gear, input to output. Notice the relationship of these two gears. When one goes clockwise, the other one will go counterclockwise. Notice the type of motion or movement is rotary. The gears are the same size, and on the gear we have put a small mark. When we match those marks up to the top, if I turn them one full rotation, they're both at the top again. That is a one to one ratio because they are the same size. Because they're a one to one ratio and they are the same size, the speed is not increased or decreased, but it is constant, it is the same. Also the power or torque will be the same because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. The flow of power, which means moving the output, will move the input. The flow of power on this is reversible because if I move the output, it will move the input. Again, notice that the gears move in opposite directions. That's simple gear train A.